let's take a quick look at my tiny kitchen. And it shouldn't take long as this room is quite small. There is about four feet by eight feet of walk space. A few years ago, my husband and I did consider remodeling this kitchen, but we knew that it wasn't going to be our permanent home. So we decided against it. So I tried my best to decorate it and make it look as cozy and beautiful as possible. As some of you may know, we are going to be moving in a few months. So we have been working on packing up our house. I still wanted everything to look nice until then. This house was originally built in 1913 and I don't think it had a kitchen in it at that time as this house was a servant's quarters for a mansion across the street, which no longer exists. And I think it was converted into a kitchen around the 1950s. One more thing I wanted to mention before we really got into the tour. This house is going to be torn down sometime this summer. And my husband and I purchased a new home. Well, actually it's not a new home. That home was built in 1910 and we are remodeling it. So we're gonna have a whole new house to decorate and share with you, and we are really looking forward to it. Okay, let's get into the tour. There's a few things that I would like to show you a little more closely. My husband and I have been collecting vintage and antiques for over 20 years, and one of my favorite finds are these can labels, probably from around 1920. I had purchased them off of eBay about 15 years ago. I just love the colors in them. And it is the Butterfly brand. Sorry about the glare there. There's also another one behind my strainers here. I'm gonna take those down a second and show you this one. This label is my favorite. They sure don't make can labels like they used to, do they? Several years ago, my husband and I did do a few small projects to make this kitchen look a little bit better. For instance, this wall here, it's a plaster and lath wall, but there was a lot of divots in the wall, like someone had patched it but didn't do a very good job. So one thing that we did to fix this is put up textured wallpaper and then painted it. And that hid all of the imperfections in that wall. Another favorite item is matchstick holders. I love matchstick holders and vintage timers. Another thing that we did to help make this kitchen look a little better was put trim around the top. Another thing that we did is when we moved in, there was only one shelf here, the bottom shelf. It did not have the plate divider or the shelf on top. And we added that just to give the room a little more character. Another thing we added was this shelf in the center of the window there. Now those windows open, they slide, this room does not have an outside window. If you look through that window, you will see red, and that is the stairwell to go downstairs. Here is another matchstick holder. And I picked that up at, you no, know, I got that on eBay about 15 years ago. There is very little room for pots and pans in this kitchen. So my husband put up this shelf for me. We do use all of our Pyrex. I do collect Pyrex, but I also use it. Most of my Pyrex is currently all packed up and moved. Being that we have limited countertop space, I had to utilize this freezer top as a place to set things while I am cooking. It is a little bit inconvenient as it opens from the top and so you have to take everything off of there in order to get something in the freezer. As you can see we have 
slanted walls. So the top of the refrigerator is really hard to use. I just put up a few of my favorite uranium glass pieces. Now over on this shelf, I put a few of my favorite things. These colors are my favorite colors for a kitchen. The white, the jadeite, and the turquoise. These salt and pepper shakers are from 1875. I do not use them. They used to be painted and that's why they look a little dirty. That's not dirt, that's actually paint that has worn off. Milk glass, a few milk glass pieces, a splash of Valentine's, depression glass, and uranium glass. Stack of uranium glass berry bowls. Every kitchen has to have a tiered tray, right? You see these little hooks right here? They're supposed to be a salt and pepper shaker. And I did not know that when I purchased him. I found her at Goodwill. This one is for oil, it has wood top. It is really a neat piece. This here is a vintage liquor bottle of some sorts. But I picked it up because of the turquoise and white. On the top shelf, those are some beautiful mid-century glasses. I got those from a friend. Uranium Swan. This is a very old bowl. On this side, we just have the coffee makers, toaster, all that regular stuff you have in a kitchen. Coffee supplies for making fancy coffees. So right here is basically my only work surface. I do not have a microwave. For one, I do not use microwaves. There just isn't enough room. I used to have it on top of the refrigerator here, but it looked really tacky. I don't use one, and believe it or not, I don't miss it. So what did you guys think of my vintage decorated tiny, tiny kitchen? I am looking forward to sharing with you our new kitchen, which will hopefully be two times larger, at least, than this one. A little more counter space. Maybe I'll have a dishwasher, as you probably noticed. I, that's my dishwasher. Well, that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed this little tour. And until next time, bye for now.